Hi everyone, my name is uh, Nicholas McIntosh. I thought I'd just do a quick video demonstration on how to set up, set up this uh, CQULaw.net uh, account because I know a lot of people have been having issues with it. So I've dug around through Google and uh, done a bit of research online through other platforms. Uh, being in the computer industry for quite a while, um, took me a while to work it out, but uh, here's how we can go about creating an account if you haven't got one already. So first things first, log into your uh, mail account that you've already got with CQ University. So your actual uh, email account that was given to you by CQU, you, you can obviously get it to it from Moodle here. So if I'm, I'm in Moodle, I can just click on my mail up the top here and it will take me to my email account. Okay, once you're in here, what you want to do is come over to the little letter symbol that's in the top right hand corner here, click on the drop down menu and click on add account now that will open up a new window uh, you can see in mine I've got a couple of uh, emails already set up I've already set up my cqulaw.net account but I'm going to show you how to do this so basically what you want to do is you want to click on use another account and you want to go in and create your account just as being displayed uh, in the original instruction. So in my case, it would have been uh, nicholas.macintosh uh, at cqulaw.net. Uh, um, now, then you want to go into next. And you want to put in the password. Now, the password that's been given to us uh, is in the details for the assignment. So if I come into here, you'll see that the password they want you to put in initially is Ace Attorney. So just grab that and put that in to the password and then click Next. Now, once you've done that, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to actually create a new password. So you want to create a new password uh, for your account on the next screen. So it's changing Ace Attorney basically to the password that you want to use to access this CQYourLaw.net email address. Okay, so following on, you can see now that if I click on this little logo up here, you can see that I'm in the CQ law.net email account now before you can actually create uh, your portfolio the first thing you're going to need to do and I know this is antiquated but it's the reason why uh, we need to do it we need to actually log out of this account and log back in um, so you would just sign out of the account uh, then go to uh, gmail.com so that's gmail.com and log back into this account with your email address that you've created so your name dot your name at cq your net, and then the password that you were asked to create uh, to update your account information so do that first once you've done that and you've logged back in what you'll notice is when you click on these uh, little sort of box indicator up here you get all the services that are now attached to your account and one of them is sites so you'll need to now click on the sites option and this brings you in to actually creating your site so you can create new google sites um, browse sites delete sites make sites all of the information is here and you can see there's a button here that says create so what we're going to do is we're going to click on create um, and you get two options there's the classic sites and then there's the in new sites so the video instructions or the instructions we've been given ba are based on the classic sites so we'll start with that so, so we'll click classic sites um, and then you want to name your site and you'll see down here that the address for the site will be sites.google.com acqlaw.net forward slash and then whatever name you give it so if you want to put in your name again um, that's what I would do so I'm just going to put mine in here I'll show you how this has been created and you'll see it adds it in um, and then you go down to select theme and there's all these different themes that you can select so I'm just going to select a, a very basic ones to start with I'll just use the one that's here the first ski theme and once I've done that I can click on create and it will actually create the site for me it might take a minute or two to go through 
Now, just while we're waiting for that to go through, I selected the theme option down here. There is an option here to just use the standard blank template. So if you wanted to do really quickly, you can use the blank template and just go straight through and create your site. Um, alternatively, as I said, you can select a theme down here, like I've done. Um, and down here, there's some more options. Uh, if you click on more options, you can put it into a category and you can even give the site a description. So you might just want to say that, um, you know, this is a portfolio for uh, CQ University um, as a law student or whatever else you want to put in there. Um, but it does take a little while for it to create the initial account. So while we've got this, please wait waiting. <laughs> I'm just going to pause this video and show you what the result is when we've completed it. Okay, so once that's completed, you'll see that uh, we have a link here that we can access it. And the full link for your actual website is up here in your browser window. So it's sites.google.com a slash cqlaw.net slash site slash system slash app slash pages metadata and it will take you to the dashboard. This is the link here. So if I click on this link, um, it will open in a new tab. In my case, I'm just going to open this in a new tab. And you'll see now that the link to actually get to the website. So this is the link that you want to be able to share with people. Sites.google.com, acqlaw.net slash and then your name or the name that you used to create the actual website. Once you get in here, you're going to get this little box that pops up and you can go through and do the get started and, and look at the information. Basically, I'm just going to dismiss this out of my way, but it, it's a good thing to read over if you haven't done it before. And then what you'll see up the top here is your ability to edit your page, uh, to create new pages. Um, there are more actions that you can go through and have a look. You can change your templates and subscribe to site changes and use sharing permissions and all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to go over it all, uh, but it is available for you in there. And then there's the option to share it. So you can actually share that with other people. So there you go. It's really, really easy um, to do. You can go through and create, let's say if we just wanted to create a page, uh, there's a home page. Uh, we can insert it's just pretty much like a word document then you can lay the site out like you like so hopefully that'll help a few people to actually get a cq uh, U law dot net account and page set up um, if you've got any questions flick on by me i'll see if i can help you out when and where i have the time because there's always uh, like everybody else here i'm sure we're all very busy um, so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching